Hey, thanks for watching today. I'm with All Star Medical, and my name's Kevin Brown. Um, we're going to go over the E Wheels 18 Stand and Ride Recreational Scooter. Uh, you'll notice I said recreational versus mobility scooter. One of the big differences is um, when it becomes recreational, it's usually because the speed is a lot different than a mobility scooter. This scooter actually goes up to 15 miles an hour. Um, it has a handbrake versus the uh, electromagnetic brakes that are typical with mobility scooters. Um, so it's what's a little bit different about it, as you see, other than the design. Um, this is great for being around the community. You're trying to get from point A to point B, um, especially retirement communities or areas where you easily have accessible um, sidewalks, things to get to, whether it's a store, you know, something like that. Um, you know, a lot of these communities are super friendly for walking and riding devices like this around there. Um, comes in real handy. Uh, has a 300 pound weight capacity. So, uh, you know, fits pretty much all your needs. You can actually um, adjust this uh, seat up and down. You have about, let's see here, you know, one, two, three, four, four notches. So about four inch adjustment on the uh, seat here. Um, and then you have um, adjustment on the handlebar as well. You can adjust the seat, um, I'm sorry, the handlebars up and down to get the proper height. So, you know, it's a really nice device for something like this. Uh, you can even take the post off, and that's why it's called a standing ride. You can do both. Um, you have four inch back wheels. Um, you have a little anti tipper bar here in the back, along with a 16 inch front wheel. And this right here is where you're gonna notice, this is where the braking system is in here. You don't typically see this on mobility scooters, but you will a lot of the recreational scooters. And so for those of y'all that don't know what I mean by electromagnetic brakes, electromagnetic, electromagnetic brakes mean when you let go of the trigger or the device that you're pushing to make the, the scooter move, it will stop. Where when you don't have that, the scooter will move on its own until you hit the actual handbrake. So it's more like a traditional scooter of sorts. You have to use the handbrake versus just let go of the handle or the trigger that you're using to drive the device with. Um, you've got your key right up here. It's just an on off switch, just turn it on. You'll notice um, you've got a little green button here, it's your horn. Um, you have your um, high beam, low beam, you also have forward and reverse, it says F and R. So in this case, if you wanna go forward, you need to make sure forward is pushed down and it will drive forward. You'll notice, you'll see it kind of moving right there. Um, if I wanna go in reverse, I have to push this button here and then do the handlebar. Also, the big difference on this handlebar that most people don't realize, this is how you control it. It moves back and forth. So it's like a motorcycle like this. So you're going back and forth on this versus actually pushing a button with your thumb. So that's a big difference too. Uh, weighs 78 pounds, um, 80 pounds shipped. It actually become, it comes to you ready to go. When what I mean by that, all you really have to do, there's a couple straps where it's tied onto the pallet. You cut those straps um, and then you take it off, put the key in put the uh, basket up front here and you're ready to go. So, I mean, it's ready to go. We do recommend charge it, you know, uh, all night before you use it. But if you drove around for a few minutes, not a big deal, but just keep that in mind. Um, your charge chargers in here, in the, in the front pouch here, which this is a wired kind of basket. It's got a wire and then a pouch here. So it's got a little bit of stability at the top to keep it open. Um, you've got your little tools that you may or may not need to make some adjustments in here. And then this is your charger, okay? Charger plugs into the wall and then plugs right in the back here. There's a little opening here. Plug this right in. So that's how you charge it. So very easy to charge, very easy to handle. Um, get a lot of great feedback on this, but it's just finding that right scooter for you. Just to give you an idea, the average mobility scooter is about five miles an hour, where again, I'd mentioned this, this is about 15. Um, you have 25 mile battery life. Um, so big time battery, go far distances, things like that. You have a 27 inch width here on the backside, that's the widest point there. And then you have um, 
41 inches as far as the length goes. So, you know, you've got um, a fairly decent scooter that will fit in between door frames and stuff like that. The width's pretty normal as well. I mean, the length's pretty normal as well, too. You get a six month on um, batteries, electro, electrical components, the seat post and seat, and then you get a year on the motor. Um, we provide this um, at All Star Medical LLC. Um, all you have to do is go to eWheels18. Um, we have a brand page. You can find it individually. Drop ships directly to you. You'll find it um, about five to seven business days. You'll get it sometimes a little sooner depending on what area of the country you're in. But we ship anywhere in the continental U US. Uh, we're constantly doing videos like this to try to update you with product and tell you the pros and cons of them. So feel free to subscribe to our page. Comment below. Let us know if there's some questions that I may not have answered that you may have about this. I'll be glad to get back to you and uh, help you out. Again, um, we also have two stores, local, so we deal with these scooters not just in drop shipping. We deal with them in stores here in the Nashville, Tennessee area. You can call us at 615-730-9438 um, or check us out online. Again, allstarmedicalllc.com. I hope this video was helpful and have a great day.